Beloved, I wish above all you prosper in your health, even as your soul prospers. God wants you to reach for more. Not just naturally, but spiritually. Always, God wants you to reach. Always be growing. Always be going after something. Don't never lay down and die. Don't never stop. Don't never get up. Give up. Amen. You reach out for it. You know, he said, I come to give you life. God bless you, Gina. All of you. Amen. Listen, he said, I come to give you life. And to give it to you more abundantly. Now, that's a spiritual life and a natural life. All right? Abundant life. You, you can't drive spirit. You can't ride in the spirit. But you can drive in a car and a house and things like that. God wants you to have both sides of this thing. Amen. Some people think all God wants you to have. God bless you, Sylvia, everybody. Amen. Tammy, all of you. Some people, God bless you, Henry, uh, Randy, we're praying. Amen for your cousin. God will move in that need. Uh, but anyway, some people think God just wants you to be spiritual. God wants you to just bless you spiritually. Just to feel good, like spiritually. Feel the Holy Ghost of power. Amen. That's all. But you know what? Amen. God prosper and be in health. God wants you blessed. Look at the children of Israel. Amen. God blessed them. This Old Testament. Amen. Over there in bondage. God blessed them so much naturally. Amen. The people look at us and God. Look, look what's going on in their life. We take the bricks away. We take everything. And God keeps multiplying them. And God keeps blessing them. No, we don't live. Amen. And think it's got to be blessed. We got to have money. We got to have this. But we serve a God that's able. To do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask of a thing. That's how powerful God is. <clears throat> so yes. God's always wants you reaching for more. Amen. As long as you don't get wrapped up in things that make it your God or make it your world, God's all right with it. God don't care what you God, God don't care what you possess. Amen. <clears throat> he wants you to prosper. He wants you to be blessed. But that ain't my title today. Uh we get on something. My sister knew you can see you come in. Uh I woke up this morning talking to God. Your faith without works is dead. <clears throat> I will say it again. Faith without works is dead. It's being alone. But you know what? You can activate them dreams. You can activate your vision. But it takes you to do that. See, God, God bless you. God to add to it. God to prosper. God bless you. Can't get you. Come in. God to move. God to meet needs. But you got to activate your dreams. You got to, you got to show God you mean business. You got to show God you own this thing and you're ready. You're ready to go after it. You're ready to give your best. You're ready to go at everything. Amen. It means walk away from everything around you, near you, by you. Amen. And you're going after what God wants you to have in this life. And like I said, it's not just a spiritual thing. It's a natural thing. God wants to bless you both spiritually and naturally. Understand that God wants you to want more. Amen. He don't want you to be satisfied. He not, only be satisfied with your salvation. But the Bible says, be content with the things you have. You be content with your salvation. Be content with your joy. Be content with serving God. But don't never be content with what you got. Always want more in the kingdom of God. Always want more in God. Always want more in the natural. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. God, as long as you don't wrap your life up in it. As long as you don't put all... The Bible said that Solomon was one of the richest men around. Had everything he wanted. Everything he set his eyes on. Amen. He had. But then Solomon says nothing better for a man to do than eat, drink, and enjoy the fruit of his labor. The fruit of his labor, that means don't never quit. Don't never give up. Don't never stop. Don't retire. Don't quit reaching out. Don't quit what you need in God. God wants you to want a spiritual and beloved. I tell you one time, we spoke all you being prosper, being in health, even as your soul prospers. <clears throat> so, so, so both ways God wants you to. But we're going to slow down just a little bit. They go in the book of Numbers if you don't care. And uh, this is the title today, Activate Your Dreams and God will Show Up. I'm going to say this again. Activate your dreams and God will show up. It's all about you activating it, you doing something with it, okay? Amen. When you put, when you, when you cast in, you know, your bread up on the water, not many days, God's just going to return to you. God's going to give it back to you. But you got, you can't live around the old God that we preached on waiting last week. Amen. God's not waiting on you. You're waiting. I mean, excuse me. You're not waiting on God. God's waiting on you, okay? God's waiting on you to get up, move, activate your faith, activate your dream. Show God that you mean business. God don't bless lazy folks. God don't bless people just sit there. God, one day you're going to bless me. No, God's not going to bless you that way. You got to get up and you got to activate your dreams. You got to quit waiting on mom and Daddy, husband, wife, brother, sister, children, waiting on all of them to get their lives straightened out, fixed, and everything good. But the whole time you're doing this, you're giving your life up. You're not going out to your dreams. You're not going out to what you want. I'm too old to dream anymore. Baby, Mo listen, Abraham was 100 years old, but still dreaming about having children. Moses was an old man, but still dreaming about the promised land. Do you understand me today? You're never too old to dream. The Bible said Moses was 120 years old, and his eyesight never went down. He was always looking for something. He's always doing something. And God activates through when you, when you, when you do something, God shows up. When you show God, I mean business, God's going to show up. I'm going to show you Bible for just a minute, okay? <clears throat> but God's good. But the Lord showed me this. And I'm sure more come on in. Please share the video with people that need to dream and these go out to their visions and their desires and what they want. God, baby, let me tell you something. They ain't a mountain you can't climb. They ain't a height you can't reach. You can do this. You can overcome it. You can do all things. Hey, man, you've got this. You can handle it, but you gotta just activate it. You gotta show it. You gotta quit talking about it. You gotta quit saying it's gonna happen. It's gonna come. And baby, you gotta put your shoulder to the plow and you can't look back. You gotta make your mind up. After me and my house, we're gonna serve the Lord. We ain't stopping. We ain't hindering. And we ain't stopping nobody stopping us. We're going on after our dreams. And mama don't go. He says, oh, mama don't go. 
I'm going on. If daddy don't go, I'm going on. If children don't go, I'm going on. I'm on my way. Praise God. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to my dreams. I'm on my way to my visions. I'm on my way to heaven. And the journey gets sweeter every day. Amen. I ain't got no stop sign to stop now. Amen. I'm not going to let nothing hinder me. Amen. I'm going after it with all my might. Amen. I'm going to conquer a giant with the Midnight Army partner, Red Sea. I'm going after my dreams. I'm going after my desires. Amen, baby. When you get hungry enough, God's ready to fill you. When you get hungry enough, God's got the table full. And the buffet, my God, the angel of the Lord just coming here. And let me tell you, when you get hungry enough, when you get hungry enough, God's got the buffet bar, honey. <clears throat> God will show up. God will feed you. Remember that song? Oh, Lord, I'm hungry. I want to be fed. Hungry don't want to be fed. Hungry don't want to be fed. Are you really hungry? Well, I said, are you really hungry? The Bible said, they that hunger and thirst out of rises shall be filled. All right. We got to slow down and get on this today. Amen. Activate your dreams. Say it with me. Activate your dreams and God will show up. I want to read you the book of Numbers. The first one we're going to read. Amen. In 14. Uh, the Bible said, now Joshua, the son of Nun and Caleb, the son of Jer Genoa, amen, which were other, them searched the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to search it, it's exceeding good land. Think about this. God's got blessings out there. God's got things out there you can reach. You're walking in the greatest hour of your life. Woo! Hey, but you're walking in the greatest blessing in your life. God's got everything laid out there. You've got to realize that. You've got to see that God can make a way when there seems to be no way. You've got to see that God has laid everything out, baby. God's put it all before you. But if you sit there, it ain't going to happen. If you sit there, it ain't going to change. God ain't going to show up if you're just sitting there. God ain't going to show up even at the Red Sea. God told the children of Israel, step forward. Go forward. You want the water to part? Go forward. You want to activate your dreams? Go forward. Quit living on dead dreams. Quit living on family and friends and relatives. They're killing you. They're destroying you. They're taking your joy out of your life. you got to go after your dreams. you got to activate God. And what activates God? What gets God to move for you? What gets God stirred up? Woo! When you move. When you activate your dreams. When you quit waiting on everybody around you. Now what's close? Even the Bible said, <clears throat> verse 8, For the Lord delight in them. He will bring us into the land. If the Lord delight in us, He will bring us to the land. Amen. And give it to us. And the land was full of milk and honey. Only rebel not against the Lord, neither fear you the people of the land that are bred for us. There are defense. Amen. Departed from them. And the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Now, what do these people do? What's the closest? And all the congregation made the stone, stone, stone these people. The people had the vision. The people had the dreams. The people had the desires. I'm going backwards. What's close? Amen. And in another scripture, amen, in Numbers chapter 13, amen, verse 30, and Caleb instilled the people. And Moses said, let us go up at once and possess it. We're well able to overcome it. We're well able to take it. Baby, you're well able. You just got to get up. God gave you the power. God's already gave you the word. God's already told you no good thing what I would hold from them that walk up right and walk. Walk, 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 uprightly before me. Huh? Hey, amen. The Bible says, according to your faith. Huh? The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthens me. Huh? You've got to do something. Huh? Hey, amen. It's time to quit. You ain't got much time, baby. You've got to take the time you've got. I don't give you 10 years old. Life moves at a fast pace. God set it up that way. Huh? God don't want you to stand still. Huh? Baby, anything that stands still is stagnant. Huh? Hey, amen. You take water standing still, it becomes stagnant after a while. If you don't break it down, we don't do something, it's going to dry up and it's going to become stagnant. It's going to stink. That's why your life's stinking. That's why you ain't got no joy. That's why you ain't happy. That's why you ain't got no victory. That's why your dreams ain't coming to pass. You have stopped. You have laid down. You have died. You have gave up. You have quit. It's time to break the dam. And it's time to unplug the river and let it flow, baby. God wants to flow through you. God, I feel the Holy Ghost this morning. But you got to activate it. You know, I used to make peanut brittle when I first started in the ministry. I done everything it took to keep going. To keep preaching, do whatever I had to do, I done it. That's just what I done. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. And so I made peanut brittle. Uh, and, and I made good peanut brittle. Some of the best you ever eat. But anyway, uh, when I made this peanut brittle, you put your sugar and you put your syrup. <clears throat> you put like a half cup of water. And I'm talking, I make a bunch of it one time. 
But you'll put your sugar, I mean your syrup, your sugar, I mean you put half a cup of water, you add your peanuts, and you let that sit there simmer and boil for about 20 minutes maybe. But it come a time, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Man, I feel the no, I'm talking to somebody. Hey, Amen. It come a time that that peanut butter around 20 minutes was starting to get done. Hey, Amen. You was going to have to do something or it was going to burn and it was going to run. Hey, Amen. I said, yes, I'll give it to you, Sasanya. It was going to burn, hey, Amen, and it was going to run. I was at the 20-minute state, the syrup was turning brown. Hey, Amen. But there's certain ways you can look at peanut brittle. When you take that spoon and you pull it out of that little bucket or out of that pot and you'd watch them little syrup, well, I called them hairs, but it wasn't hairs, it was syrup, but it was starting to turn to look like hairs. I knew the candy was getting close to being done. Hey, Amen. We throw the salt in it and stir it just a little bit longer. Hey, Amen. But then the ultimate ingredient that made that peanut brittle rise. Hey, amen. It was called baking soda. Hey, amen. You sat there and you looked at it and the minute you saw the peanuts brown just a little and the minute you seen that little hair like thing like syrup. Hey, amen. You knew it was time to cast the baking soda in. And baby, once you put that baking soda in, you had to stir it. Because if you didn't stir it, it was going to come out of the pot. Hey, amen. So you had to stir it. You had to put it in these pan in a very quick hurry. I could make 12 to 14 batches at a time out of one. Hey, amen. But let me tell you something. If I would have waited too long, hey, amen, the candy would have burnt and it would have tasted burned. Hey, amen, if I would have waited just to got too quick, hey, amen, I would have burned it. But when you activate that baking soda, it ain't no stopping it. You got to bring it out. It's going to show up. It's going to grow. God, I feel the Holy Ghost this morning. God said, when you activate me, hey, when you go out of your dreams, I'm going to throw in the baking soda and it's going to show up. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Well, I'm waiting on my brothers. That's what the children of Israel, well, we can't do this. We done too old now. Them are giants over there. We can't handle You're making all kinds of excuses. But excuses don't activate God. Oh, God, I felt anointed when I said that. Excuses don't activate God. Hey, amen. Faith without works is dead because it's all alone. Go with me to Zechariah. I'm closing right here. Zechariah chapter 4. Listen, it's time. You quit making excuses while you ain't dreaming. Phil Norton just come here. When he come here, come here slowly. It's time you quit making excuses why you ain't dreaming. Well, my mama won't go. My daddy won't go. My children. I've been through heartaches. I've been through storms. I've been through tragedies. Well, you know what? All that sounds good for a season. But like I told you about that peanut brittle, you know when you put that syrup in there and you put that sugar and you put that peanuts, that water in there and you let that start cooking. Hey, amen. After about 20 minutes, you got a decision you got to make. Hey, amen. You got to look at it and say, is it done? It's time to throw the baking soda to it. It's time to let it rise. If not, you're going to have a burn up, sticky mess. It's going to ruin your pot. It's going to smell your house up. God, I feel the preacher this morning. Hey, amen. It's going to ruin things around you. It's going to take you forever to get that stinking stuff out of that pot because it's just messed everything up. Woo! God speaking to you this morning, baby. Hey, amen. It's time. Hey, amen. Quit waiting on mama, daddy, brother, sister. Quit trying to explain why you where you're at. You where you at because you're not activating your faith. You where you at because you're not going back out to your dreams. I know you got hurt. I know you got scarred. I know you felt like dying. And I know you felt like giving up. But all you're going to have is a stinking pot and a bunch of burnt up, amen, peanuts. And it's going to stink your whole life up. It ain't worth laying out giving up. Mama, daddy, they want you to give up. Brother, sister, don't want you to give up. It's time to get back up. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 50, whatever stage you are. It's time to get up and go back out to your dreams and go back out to you. You can still kill the giant. You can still part the Red Sea. You can still want the Monday Night Army. But all you got to do is activate your dream. <sighs> Quit letting husband and wife and brothers and sisters and everybody else dictate what you can do and you can't do. You can do all things. The Bible says you can do all things. Quit letting the doctor tell you what you can do. Quit letting all the people tell you what you can do. All things are possible. But you got to activate it. You got to show God. When Joshua and Caleb, watch, the Bible said, and I, I should have read on into that a while ago. When Joshua and Caleb, let me close it, they steal the people. And they say, God's with us. God does. God bless us. So you see, listen, and, and, and when they steal the people, they say, we can do this. And the Bible said they, the people got mad. They don't want you to dream. Hey, but some of your family, I'm sorry, they don't want you to dream. Hey, but some of your loved ones don't want you to dream. Some of the people you call your friends, they don't want you to. Because they know when you start dreaming, if they don't dream with you, you're going to leave them. Well, God, I got to say that again. They know that if you don't, they don't dream with you, you're going to leave them. You're moving on because a dreamer can't be stopped. A dreamer can't be hindered. A dreamer don't stop for family. A dreamer don't stop for friends. A dreamer don't stop for pressure. A dreamer don't stop for problems. They walk over problems. Walk over battles, walk over hardship, and come to victory. Listen, God told, when Joshua and Caleb told them what they told them, the Bible said they spake a stone on them, and then the Bible said God showed up. <laughs> Woo! 
up. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Mama may turn on you, baby, but God's going to show up. Daddy may turn on you, but God's going to show up. Hey, friends and family may turn on you, baby, but God's going to show up. Hey, Amen. And take that dream and give you the blessing and bring you the power. And whip your giant, kill your midnight army, part your Red Sea, and plant your hide in, in the kingdom of God, and give you power over all the powers of the enemy, and give you victory in your life. All you got to do is activate your dream. You activate that dream. I feel the Holy Ghost and God will show up. Sir, well, let me say this right. I'll put on his name right. And I'll close with Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. Amen. The Bible said, Then he answered, speaking the Lord, and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Sir. Amen. Say, Not by might, nor by power, but my, my spirit, saith the Lord. I used to think, Lord, that sounds strange. I know your might works and your power works. What do you mean, spirit? And then I got to realize that God gave you might, God gave you power. But it takes your spirit to activate it. Well, can I say it again? God gives you power. And God gives you might. But it takes the spirit of God to activate it. Then I love what I read. I used to think God all three of them work. And then I realized that it takes the might, takes the power, but it takes the spirit of God to activate it. Now watch closely. Amen. The Bible said, Who art thou, O great mountain? Well, my God, baby, when you get to the place, hey, amen, you activate your dreams, you look at that mountain and say, who are you, great mountain? You ain't no mountain, but that's no mountain, whether Aaron Crab singer, Hoover Crab, or Jason Crab. That's no mountain for a climber, baby. That's no red sea for somebody that parts them. Do you hear me? They activate your dream. Quit waiting on everybody to get behind you. Quit waiting on everybody to get mature enough. Quit waiting on everybody to join in. They're not joining in. So realize, you're going to die without victory. You're going to die without joy. You're going to die without happiness. If you don't activate your dream, your, your dream. What? Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Sirwa, thou shalt become a plain. He shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shout and cry grace, grace unto it. Sirwa's going to do this. How's he going to do it? He's going to activate his dream. How you know that? Watch. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Amen. The hands of Sirwa have laid the foundation of this house. He laid it. He laid it. When he didn't feel no goosebumps, he laid it. When nobody was backing him, he laid it. When nobody was on his side, he laid it. Amen. God said, when he laid that foundation, Amen. My spirit showed up and began to activate. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Do you hear me this morning? Watch. And the hands of Sirwa had laid the foundation of this house. His hands are also finishing. And then shall you know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. God's going to show up. Yes, I've laid it. And yes, I'm going going to finish it, baby. He that begun a good work in you, he is going to complete it. He is going to, my God, the Lord's all in the house. He's going to finish it. Don't worry about nobody else. Don't worry about nobody else patting you on the back. Everybody make the way God said, I'm going to finish it. Now watch. For who had despised the day of small things? Woo, who had despised the day of small things? I feel the Holy Ghost in him. I'll slow down. Activate your dreams. I know I'm the God wants you to share this video if you don't care. You've been sitting long enough. You've been waiting on mama and daddy and brother and sister and children and everybody around you to get up to the level. They're not going to get there. It's your dream. It's your dream. God's waiting on you to activate it. Like I told you about that pot of peanut brittle until you throw the baking soda to it, it's not going to rise. But once you put the baking soda in it, it's going to rise. Hey, man, it's going to come out of that pot, and you're going to be blessed exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask you and thank. Because see, when I told you to finish up that peanut brittle, when that bacon soda hit it, it would begin to rise, and you stirred it quick, and it would come out of that pot. Hey, man, you'd feel up all kind of pain. Baby, God's ready to fill your life up. Activate it. Hey, I said, God's ready to fill your life up. Activate it. God's ready to move your body. Activate it. God's ready to bring you out of depression and give you back your joy, give you back your victory. Activate it. Hey, man, Moses, God's ready to part your Red Sea. Tell the people to take a step. Amen. Listen to me, Joshua. I'm ready to part Jordan. Tell him to get in the water. Amen. Moses, I'm ready to move. Tell him to go after the ark. Amen. The man that needed water. God said, I'm ready to give you water. Dig some ditches. All you got to do is activate your dreams. And I'll show up. All right. We love you. Amen. God's a good God. God's amazing. I just found and started listening to you. Good to have you, sister. Sue. God bless you. Everybody, we appreciate you. I'm going off right now. I'm quitting. But you remember one thing. God ain't going to show up. I'm going to say it again. God ain't going to show up until you activate your dream. When you activate your dream, God's going to show up. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. God's going to show you what he can do. He's going to show you you can do it exceedingly, abundantly above all you can ask or think. All week long, God's doing me to stop just limiting yourself. 
Go after more. Go after more dreams. Don't stop. Well, I'm going to die and I won't need all that. It don't matter. Leave it to somebody else. It don't matter, but go after your dreams. Go after your visions. Quit sitting around and say, oh God, let me tell you something. Abraham at 100 years old said, I want babies. I want babies. Well, I want babies. I want babies. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. What's a 100 year old man want babies for? Because he knew the only thing that would keep him activated in life. Amen. He had to go after his dreams. And even after Sarah died, read your Bible. After Sarah died at 100 years old, Abraham still produced children. With the cocky body he had in his other wives, he still produced children. Why? Because he activated his dream. All right, we love you. We appreciate you. Have a great day. We got to pray right now. Man, the anointing God's here. Jesus, today, Lord, just anointing here, God. All his requests, all his needs, God. I ask you to move, God, with your power and your strength and your joy and your happiness, God. And bless your people, God. Bless your people, Lord. Anoint them, God, and bless their lives today, God. Give them what they need, Jesus. Every situation, every need, every special request, God. Let them activate their dreams, God. And we thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, I love all y'all. I appreciate